Gillingham in the dark strip looks set to celebrate the first goal of the new season early in the first half. Greenall over the bar. And Dave Shearer, short on inches but not on courage, diving at the far post. The Brighton supporters' Russian branch had an obvious comrade in left winger Gary Nelson, who provided their best chance. His cross volleyed back by Penny. Bremner fails to connect. Gillingham's Carl Elsie went on a one-man expedition to entertain the 4,000 crowd. Though a discarded sponsor's banner proved that today newspaper was yesterday's soccer supporter. Into the second half, Gary Nelson injured. The start of Brighton's troubles. Last night, a fractured ankle was suspected. Now the diagnosis, bad bruising. But an enforced layoff, certain for a few weeks to come. But it's not what Gillingham had in mind as Smith sprinted into the attack on the left. While fullback Paul Haylock matched his speed on the right. It was only a matter of time before Brighton's defence perished. And it was Pritchard with the skill and Colin Greenall the header. And for Gillingham a one goal lead to take to Brighton next Wednesday. Got some good crosses in tonight. It was just, as I say, I think we needed the one goal, and then I think we're going our way now. And what about the return leg? It'll be a hard game. Never played at Brighton, but I would imagine it'll be like will be a hard game. So we just got to stick it out. We play like we did tonight, and hopefully, if we play like this on Saturday, we've we no worries. <laughs> 